Patients admitted to hospital are given oxygen by mask. Oxygen flowing into the mask is at least 8 liters per minute. When patients exhale, the peak flow may be about 60 liters per minute, and much higher if the patient coughs or sneezes. If the mask is fit to the face, all of this flow has to exit through a number of small holes cut to the side of the mask. High flows being forced through small holes result in very high velocity jets of gas. We tested the hypothesis that the oxygen mask put on patients in emergency rooms and hospital wards direct the pattern of spread of infected respiratory droplets to the sides of the patient and may increase the distance of their travel. The experiment was performed in a small, windowless room. All air vents were covered and taped shut to prevent air drafts. The walls were covered with black paper. The subject, one of the authors, wore a standard oxygen mask. He inhaled nebulized saline. Most droplets precipitated in the mouth, nose, and lungs. However, the small droplets that remained suspended were exhaled and acted as markers for intrinsic respiratory droplets, which would be the same size. To visualize the droplets, the room was darkened and a set of lights was placed at the side of the subject directed at the subject and droplets. Droplets were visualized by diffracting the light into the camera, which was in front of the subject, out of the stream of the light. We expected the respiratory particles to travel up to a meter. As can be seen, they travel at least two meters, and would they not come to the end of the room, might well travel farther. The lesson. Patients wearing oxygen masks broadcast their respiratory droplets by jetting them to the sides. The implication. 1. Oxygen masks jet respiratory particles to the sides for long distances, at least several meters. 2. People at the sides of patients wearing oxygen masks, such as doctors, nurses, x-ray techs, family, other patients in stretchers, are directly in the respiratory particle stream. 3. A patient being wheeled in a wheelchair or stretcher down a hospital hallway leaves a continuous cloud of respiratory particles down the length of the hall, on the walls, on the doors, on the phones, on the desks, and on all passers-by.